Okay, Sam, what is happening on the 14th? The best day of my life. I'm getting married to Alison Schoenberg, the love of my life and the girl of my dreams. Speaking of the DR, I served my mission there, and that's where I met Seth, her older brother. And jokingly, he would say, when you get back, you know, you should date my sister, you should marry my sister. I, I kind of brushed it off. Over winter break, uh, there was one day in particular where we hung out and it totally just hit things off. And after that, I was whipped. Like, I was hooked. But I was, uh, yeah, I was head over heels. What was your first impression? That day over winter break, when we hung out, I remember really distinctly, she was the one that opened the door. It was right there and then that I thought, okay, this girl's different. Like, this girl isn't like all the other girls out there. I don't know. I just remember really vividly, really distinctly feeling um, she's, she's really unique. She's really special. I was really impressed by how a girl could be so beautiful but yet at the same time so grounded and just so personable and spiritual and friendly and yeah. What are some of your favorite personality traits? How stubborn she is. <laughs> and I love that about her. Like in the best way possible. Just her determination to get things done, she can be so stubborn in the best way possible to accomplish what needs to be done, her inclusivity. She will include everyone. Just makes everyone in the room feel loved. What are some things that you do that bug her? Wear flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not anymore because now um, she is too sweet and got me uh, some Burks for Christmas. I'll like touch her mouth or touch her lips or if she's yawning, I'll like put my finger in her mouth and that's, that's pretty how she hates that. <laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? She does. I think she definitely wears the pants. If it's date night and she's in the mood for a certain type of food, like, it's actually kind of nice. Because then she'll just be like, I want this. And I'm like, okay, let's go. I'll call her Pinky, just because she blushes really easily sometimes. And it's really cute. She'll call me boy, but then put like an adjective before it. If I pass gas, she'll be like, okay, don't do that, stinky boy. What is her favorite drink? She really loves a lot of juices. That probably, that probably leans more towards smoothies. Favorite type of music? Alternative. Probably dipping into pop, but I think there's also some Indian there too. What is her favorite restaurant? It's a Thai. Chick-fil-A, which is her... It's more of a classic. That's like her all-time favorite. And uh, Cubbies. When did you know that you loved her? Hawaii. I distinctly remember flying home uh, and saying goodbye to her and getting on the plane, realizing that I, I was in love. I admire her... Um, her sweet spirit and her perspective on the world. She's probably one of the most positive people I know, and uh, and just her her view on on life is beautiful. Just the way she embraces music and art and nature and strangers and people and family and even just the little things that might seem insignificant. I think. When I watch her consume that part of life, it it brings me light, like it brings me joy. How will she be as a mom? Oh, the, the best mom in the universe. Like, just the other day, I had noticed, I'd almost like looked at her with mom goggles, with like parent goggles, and uh, it almost brought me to tears. I don't think I, like tell her that enough, but that like how amazing of a, of a mother she's going to be. Were you scared to tell her that you love her? Yeah, 100%. The first time I told her I loved her um, was probably a few weeks before she left on her mission. So it was definitely a risk in my mind of being that vulnerable and that open um, and that like I almost want to say pioneering because I've never told a girl that way I never, and to be fair I've never felt that way before but uh, I still did anyways so yeah I was, I was well I was terrified because she was going on a mission so Favorite quirk about Allison? She can get really fidgety with things on her hands so whether it's like 
old nail polish or even like a scab or like a scratch like she can't leave it alone and it's adorable if there's anything you want to say to Allison well I love you <laughs> um, I've never felt this way about any other human being in my life and falling in love with you has shown me that I didn't know I was capable of adoring and caring for another person as much as I do for you. You make me a better man and a better priest holder when I'm around you, and I would not be the person I am today um, without your love. <laughs>